live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. And this is one of the most spectacular new venues, certainly in terms of design, it is the Allianz Parquet. Dortmund have opted for a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Hoists it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's made sure that that won't get through. Drives it towards the front. Gets the better of his man. Goes for goal! There it is! And that really is so, so impressive. Dortmund have an early lead. Good start. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. And it's played forward. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. delivery and all it needed was a touch well as contact goes that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net i think when it comes to the aerial department this fella is definitely no slouch
Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? He's got it, and he's got... Dortmund have a free kick. He's had a crack. Great reaction. And it's hoisted clear. Gets it back. Could move up a gear here. Just brushed off the ball there. Forward it goes. It's got through to him. It's on a... He's gone for it! Oh, taken with style! Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. This is threatening to become a really good game. And we've reached half time. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separated them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals. And I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it remains very delicately poised, and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. Dortmund head into the half-time break with a narrow... Has a pop! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Decent-looking ball, timely intervention. Oh, that's an own goal! Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Gets into a dangerous position. <laughs> Hoists it forward. the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot.
Dortmund get themselves into the lead. Well, that's where he wants it. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. It's being played forward. A forward pass. And it's played forward. Hoists it high. This could try the shots! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So the lead now is two. That has the feeling of a breath of fresh air, Peter, and now they can fill their lungs and, and just blow them away. It's come loose. A real chance to break. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries to get it forward quickly. Shoots! And yes, it's there! With so little time left, grandstand finish! Mainz are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Mainz give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Dortmund just have to run down the clock. Done very well to intervene. Plays it out to the wing. He's got away. Chance to cross here. And there goes the final whistle. Dortmund have held on. A knife edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. If you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim, it was a very good game. Played in the right spirit with a fitting atmosphere, and I think football won this time. Before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both, good afternoon.